Or that was chapter 15. Talks about Abijam rings in Judah. Now, in the 18th year of King Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, Abijam began to reign over Judah. He reigned for three years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Maka, the daughter of, of Abishalom. And he walked in all and he walked in all the sins that his father did before him, and his heart was not wholly true to the Lord his God Jesus Christ, as the heart of David, his father. Nevertheless, for David's sake the Lord the Lord his God gave him a lamp in Jerusalem, setting up his son after him, and establishing Jerusalem, because David did what was right in the eyes of the Lord, and did not turn aside from anything that he commanded him all the days of his life except in the matter of Uriah the Hittite. Now there was war between Re between Rehoboam and Jeroboam all the days of his life and there was a war between Israel and Judah the rest of the acts of Abijam and all that he did they not written the book of the chronicles of the kings of Judah and there was a war between Abijam and Jeroboam and Abijam slept with his or you know died and they buried him in the sea of David or, or Jerusalem and Asa his son reigned in his place Asa reigned in Judah in the 20th year of Jeroboam king of Israel Asa began to reign over Judah and he reigned 41 years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Maka, the daughter of Absalom. And Asa did what was right in the eyes of the Lord, as David his father had done. He put away the male cult prostitutes out of the land and removed all the idols that his fathers had made. He also removed Maka, his mother, from being queen mother, because she had made an abominable image for Asherah, or for Satan. And Asa cut down her image and burned it at the brook Kidron. But the high places were not taken away. Nevertheless, the heart of Asa was wholly true to the Lord all of his days. And he brought into the house of the, of the Lord the sacred gifts of his father, and his own sacred gifts, silver and gold and vessels. And there was war between Asa and, ba and Basha, king of Israel, all their days. Basha, king of Israel, went up against Judah and built Ramah, that he might permit no one to go out or come in to Asa, king of Judah. And Asa took all the silver and the gold, that were left in the treasures of the house of the Lord and the treasures of the king's house, and gave them to the hands of the servants. And the king and King Asa sent them to Ben Hadad, the son of Tabramon, the son of Hezion, king of Syria, who lived in Damascus, saying, Let there be a covenant or a promise between me and you, as there was between my father and your father. Behold, I am sending you I am sending to you a present of silver and gold. Go break your covenant with Basha, king of Israel, that he may withdraw from me. And Ben Hadad listened to King Asa and sent the commanders of his armies against the cities of Israel and conquered Ajon, Dan, Abel, Beth, Maka, and all Chinaroth with all the land of Naphtali. And when Basha heard of it, he stopped building Ramah and he lived in Terza. Then King Asa made a proclamation to all Judah. None was, none was exempt. And they carried away the stones of Ramah and its timber with which Basha had been building and with them King Asa built Geba, Benjamin, and Mitzvah, and the rest of all the acts of Asa, and all his might, and all that he did, and the cities that he built, are they not written in the book of Chronicles of the kings of Judah? But in, but in his old age he was diseased in his feet, and Asa slept with his, and Asa, you know, died, and was buried with his fathers in, his, in Jerusalem, um, and Jehoshaphat, his son, reigned in his place, and Adab reigns in Israel. Adad, the son of Jeroboam, began to reign over Israel in the second year of Asa, king of Judah, and he reigned over Israel two years. He did what was evil in the sight of the Lord, and walked in the way of his father, and in his sin, which he made Israel to sin. Basha, the son of Ahijah, of the house of Ishkar, conspired against him, and Basha struck him down at, at Gibbethon, which belonged to the Philistines, or gods of the day, for Nadab and all Israel were laying siege to Gibbethon. So Basha killed him in the third year of Asa, king of Judah, and reigned in his place. And as soon as he was king, he killed all the house of Jeroboam. He left he left the house of Jeroboam, not one that breathed, or not one that breathed, until he had destroyed it. And according to the word of the Lord, that he, st that he spoke to his servant Ahijah the Shilonite. It was for the sins of Jeroboam that he sinned, that, and that he made Israel to sin because of the anger to which he put the Lord, the God of Israel, Jesus Christ. Now the rest of the acts of Nadab, now that he did, are they not written in the book of the Chronicles of the Kings of Israel? And there was war between Asa and Basha, king of Israel, all their days. Basha reigned in Israel. At third year of Asa, king of Judah, Basha, the son of Ahijah, began to reign over all the Israel at Tirzah, and he reigned twenty-four years. 
He did what was evil in the sight of the Lord and walked in the way of Jeroboam and, and in his sin which he made Israel to sin. So that's 15. Now Abijam reigns in Judah. Asa reigns in Judah. Nadab reigns in Israel. And then Basha reigns in Israel. And they have a little chart here talking about the evaluating kings of Israel and Judah. First, second kings. It talks about, it talks about the good uh, the good kings and the bad kings. The mixture of good and bad kings. Which, you know, that Talk about that when we get, you know, when we get to uh, more of the kings of, of Israel and Judah. So basically, what's going on now? Fifteen. It's just, um, yeah, I think you have one good king, and then you have two bad kings, and it's just, it's like that on up until really the, uh, um, you know, when we get to the prophets. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, it's just constant war between Judah and Israel, and, and you you may have one good king, and then you may have a couple, and then you have, and then you may have another another couple of bad kings, and basically it's about basically Israel, you know, the, the, they'll, they'll turn away from God for a while, and they'll turn back to God for a little while, and they'll turn away from God. And it's just constantly like that all through the Old Testament. And then you'll have one good king, and then, you, and then you may have like four bad kings, and then you may have a couple of good kings, and you may have. You know, four more back. It's just like that all through the Old Testament. It's just Israel constantly, you know, turning to God and then turning away from God, turning to God. Turning away. It's just like that the entire Old Testament. You know, that's chapter 15, and um, we're 16 here here shortly.